In this video, I want to show you how to record videos quickly using YouTube, which allows you to record video through YouTube and host. It used to be a different process, but in 2017, for some reason, they changed the process. It's a little bit less obvious. You have to go through YouTube Live. So let me show you how to do it. So if I want to record a quick video that I can you know, send to other people or show other people through YouTube, I'm going to go into my uh, menu up in the upper right corner. I'm going to go into Creator Studio. And once I am in Creator Studio, it's going to show me a list of all of the videos I have. So I'm going to go into live streaming, but instead of clicking on live streaming, I'm going to click on the down arrow and that's going to open up a menu. Now it looks like you're going to want to use do stream now. That would be the logical step, but actually you're going to go to events. So click on events. And once you've done that, it shows you all of the events that you have uh, so far that you've recorded. And, but you're going to go up into the right corner again and click on New Live Event. And then once you click on New Live Event, of course, you can give it a title. So I'm going to call it, um, I'm just going to call my New Live Event. You can set the time. The default is now, so whenever you start. But you can also, uh, you know, let's say do it for 3 p.m. You can also add an end time if you want to add the end time. And what that's going to do is it's when your video is quote unquote being broadcast on YouTube Live, that will end the streaming of the video. It won't end the actual, um, the actual video that you're in. It will end the streaming of the video. You can also put a description if you want here. And there's some advanced settings if you wanted to um, click on any of these. So if you can click the category that you want it to be put in, etc. cetera. Um, but you may not need that. Basic info is usually pretty sufficient. So the next thing I want to show you before you would click on go live now to finalize your recording is there are several privacy settings you can click on. So if you do a regular YouTube live video by default, it's set to public. And that means that anyone can find your video and watch your video in real time. But let's say that you want to just record a quick video either for private purposes or maybe to give to friends later, but you don't want anyone to be able to see it while you're recording it. There's several different ways you can do that. Going to private means that only you can see the streaming of the video. Now you can change your settings later. So if you just want the video to be, or at least the recording of the video to be private, no one can search it. You want to click private and you can, you know, again, change the settings later. Or you can go to unlisted, which is like a compromise position. The video is technically public so people can see it if they have the link but it's unlisted, meaning they can't search it. This would be desirable for if you want to stream a video live and you want people to be able to see it while you're streaming it, but only the people you give a link to. That would be the situation for that. So I'm going to set mine to private because I don't want anyone to view the video. I usually use these videos for um, creating videos for students in my case. I'm a college professor. So I create videos to kind of um, give announcements to students and the like. So now I'm going to go live up in this upper right corner. Click on this and you're going to get kind of a, um, uh, I guess, a warning that you're going to go live and I'm going to press yes and it's going to open up a Google Hangout. So I see a preview of myself right now. I can make sure that, that I look OK and the video is kind of finalizing. So once I wait for the percentage to go up, see on the lower icon, there is now a start broadcast. I'm not going to start the broadcast because I'm already recording using a different uh, camera. But if I start broadcast, it will open up Google Hangouts as normal. And once the broadcast starts, I'm on the air. It'll give me a countdown. And then once I'm done, I can also end the call. Now, during the call, I can do such things as share my screen. So I can go over this left corner, do screen share. I can open up a chat window. Let's say that my live broadcast is a video interview with somebody. Uh, I can open up a chat window there. I can adjust settings. Uh, I can adjust camera features, etc. But most times I, I just record regularly because the defaults are pretty good. So I'm going to close this because I didn't start recording. And there you have it. It really is as simple as that. That's how you record a video. And once your video is done, uh, it will take maybe a few minutes to finalize and it will, um, once it's done, it will show up in your video manager. So if you go into video manager, it will show up as the top video. It might take a few minutes. And of course, from there, um, most of you probably already know this, but you can go into your regular video and do such thing as uh, share your video with links. You can get your hyperlink. You can get an embed copy. So again, it's just a really quick way to make, hold, host, and share videos using YouTube.